Hello everyone, welcome to Students Point. This is 7th of December and we are going to see all of the important questions for the day. So pay your attention till the end. And to get PDF of all these videos, you can join us on Telegram by writing the channel's name, Students Point. You can also follow us on Instagram by writing the username, The Students Point. And if you are finding this video useful, then don't forget to like the video and do share the video with your friends and loved ones. Also don't forget to press the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive the notification at the earliest. Now here is the question for the day and everyone has to answer this question in the comment section. The question is 2020 ASO in news recently is a or an? These are the options. Read the options carefully and then answer it. Let's begin the first question now. The Hayabusa 2 mission of Japan was launched in? So it was launched in 2014. So many times we have discussed about Hayabusa 2 mission of Japan. This is a spacecraft. It was sent on a six year long voyage to study the asteroid Ryugu and to collect samples from it. And now it has returned on 6th of December back on the Earth. And it is a spacecraft of Japan. It returned on 6th of December carrying the samples of asteroid Ryugu, asteroid Ryugu which has width of 1 km. And this mission is similar to mission of NASA Osiris Rex. Osiris Rex also aim to bring samples from asteroid Bennu. In exam, they may ask you to match the following. They may give you the options Osiris Rex and Hayabusa 2. So remember that Osiris Rex aimed at bringing material back from asteroid Bennu and Hayabusa aimed at bringing back material from asteroid Ryugu. Next question now, who has been named as the kid of the year on Time magazine cover? So it is Gitanjali Rao. So yes, he is the right answer. Gitanjali Rao, who is just 15 year old inventor and scientist has become the first kid of the year on Time magazine cover. He was born in 2005. She is an American inventor, author, scientist and a STEM promoter. She won the Discovery Education 3 million Young Scientist Challenge in 2017. And you can enroll if you wish into UPSC or State PC course for 2021. The new batch is going to begin from 8th of December. The price for this batch is just Rs 2249 and you can pay it in two installment as well. All the syllabus for UPSC will be covered in this batch. One batch is already ongoing and after subscribing you have to send your confirmation at this email id pointstudent2020 at the rate gmail.com and the link for subscription will be provided below in the comment section as well as in the description box of the video. Ok let's move ahead now the third question. Which among the following approved the sale of a lab grown meat product? So it is Singapore Food Agency which has approved for the first time the sale of lab grown meat products. This is the first time that cultured meat has been cleared for sale anywhere in the world and the product has been approved by SFA. It is cultured chicken and it is produced by US based East Just. Plant based meat is different from Cultured meat. How it is? Plant based meats are those which are made from plant sources like soy or pea protein, while cultured meat are grown directly using the cells in laboratory. And in terms of cellular structure, cultured or cultivated meat is similar to conventional meat, except for one that is, cultured meat does not come directly from animals. And since cultivated meat is created in clean facilities, it has several advantages over in comparison to conventional meat. For instance, the risk of contamination by pathogens such as Salmonella, E. coli, which may present in the traditional or conventional cow slaughterhouses and meat packaging factories is significantly reduced in case of cultivated meat. It also does not require any antibiotics. So it also reduces the chance of growing antibiotic resistance, which is a big challenge for the medical science at present. Next question now. The first ever migratory bird festival of Bihar this year is to be observed in. So it is to be observed in Bhagalpur district of Bihar. So here D is the right answer. And this festival is to be jointly organized by Bhagalpur Forest Division, Bombay Natural History Society and the local Manda Nature Club. Next question now. What is the IUCN status of Asian Haubara bustard. This is the bird. 
so it is it has been categorized into vulnerable list of IUCN threat list so here D is the right answer the Hobara bustard which lives in arid climates comes in two distinct species these two distinct species are recognized by IUCN these are the one which is residing in North America and the other which resides in Asia the species which reside in Asia is called as Macune's bustard I repeat the species which reside in Asia is called as Macune's bustard the population of Asian Hobara bustards extend from Northeast Asia across Central Asia the Middle East and the Arabian Peninsula to reach the Sinai Desert it is categorized as vulnerable under IUCN red list why it was the news now because Pakistan has issued special permits to Saudi Crown Prince Muhammad bin Salman and other two members of royal family to hunt this internationally protected Hobora buster during the hunting season of 2020 to 2021 just to please them and to borrow more money from them next question now which city topped in urban quality of life index prepared by IIT Bombay so it is Mumbai Mumbai has topped this list of urban quality of life index which has been released recently by IIT Bombay Mumbai is followed by Delhi Kolkata and Chennai and for the first time they have factored gendered parity as well in this report or the, in this index gender parity has been considered too and Chennai turns out to be the most woman friendly city out of all and Patna was the worst woman friendly city and Jaipur has the highest crime rate against women Chennai has the lowest crime rate against women while the gap in literacy rate between men and women is widest in Jaipur which was 13.2 percent and it was lowest in Kolkata that was just 5.4 percent and literacy was highest in Pune which was 91 percent and surprisingly it was lowest in Hyderabad just 83 percent even lower than Patna and the unemployment rate for women is highest in Patna at 346 and it is almost four times more than the urban average of 73 and another often overlooked factor are the basics like power water education and only 36 percent of urban households in Patna have access to treated tap water please appreciate on this word it is not talking about tap water only it is talking about treated tap water so only 36 percent of urban households in Patna have access to treated tap water the next question now HL2M tokamak reactor is an artificial sun nuclear fusion reactor of now again you have to focus on this word that it is talking about fusion reactor not fission fusion which which is the process of nuclear reaction taking place in sun otherwise the generally conventional nuclear reactor which we use is based on fission reaction and not on fusion reaction so now this tokamak reactor is based on fusion reaction and it has been developed by China so here B is the right answer this tokamak reactor is China's largest and most advanced nuclear fusion experimental research device and scientists hope that the device can potentially unlock a powerful clean energy source it uses a powerful magnetic field to fuse hot plasma and can reach temperatures of over 150 million degrees Celsius which is approximately 10 times hotter than the core of the Sun you can imagine and located in Sichuan province and completed late last year this reactor is often called as an artificial Sun on account of the enormous heat and power it produces and if you have found the video useful till now do like the video and do share the video with your friends and loved ones also don't forget to press the subscribe button and the bell icon now let's see some more points in news farmers are protesting at Singo border they have called for Bharat Bandh on December 8th ahead of the fifth round of talks with the central government over the three farm bills the Singo border is widely known as Singo border in Delhi the village is situated near National Highway number no. 1 in GT Road and it is the first village in Delhi while entering from Haryana its neighboring villages include Singhola Alipur, Kundli Sersa and Janti Kalan. 
these three villages are located in Haryana and the village is situated near Narela in northwest of Delhi. Next point now. Lakshdeep's administrator and former intelligence bureau of Chief Dineswar Sharma has recently passed away. He was just at the age of 66. He hailed from Bihar. So I hope you find the video useful. Do like and do share the video. Subscribe and press the bell icon. We will meet again in the next video. Until then, stay safe and thanks for watching.